Castle Sinister, 1948, directed by Oscar Byrne, starring James Liggett, Mara Russell Taverman, and Robert Essex. A British agent is sent to investigate the murder of a high-ranking officer by a mysterious masked phantom. Was it really the vengeful spirit of local legend, or does more than meet the eye? Confession. What drew me to this film was the badass skull mask worn by the Phantom. It very much reminds me of the Crimson Ghost, the character the Misfits have adopted into their iconic logo. Sadly, the Phantom is lame, with a pretty low body count. I was really hoping for more of a slasher figure. He's built up as this paranormal threat by the villagers that sends them packing. He also has three nasal passages, which is really weird. Did the costume designer not have access to a real skull in the 40s? This is the first film that I've featured on my channel that I've actually had to go back and re-watch before finishing my review, which is notable because I always give my full attention to the film I'm reviewing so I don't miss anything. I got lost trying to watch this film as a result of large chunks of it being told in sporadic flashbacks, which feel disjointed from the rest of the film and almost like a separate film altogether. I even struggled to keep track of the characters, which is noteworthy because there aren't that many characters to begin with. This was Oscar Byrne's first film as a director, having acted as a cinematographer on a few films before this. It shows. It's awkwardly paced, acted, and shot. A majority of the film's cast and crew only have this film in their body of work. That's not much of a surprise, as this film does no favors for anyone involved. Cyril E. Clarke's musical direction is the only positive I can list about this film, however, with the score being more tense, eerie, and mysterious than the actual film it was in. The biggest problem with this film is there's just not enough. Not enough intrigue, not enough tension, not enough plot twists, not enough character development. I understood going in that the 46 minute runtime meant that the film was going to be slimmed down considerably, but there's barely a skeleton of a story here. Verdict? Thumbs down. I didn't hate it, but I'm afraid that this phantom should be ghosted. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.